Cancerian, reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading. Follow me on TikTok, let me get to 1K. If you're not Cancer, take it for your fourth house. You have the four swords in the upright. This is replenishing, rejuvenating your energy. Remember, meditation is a form of energy, right? It's not like caffeine or sugar. It's not the kind of energy that we know. It's the energy of source, where you're literally kind of like emptying out all of this inundation, all of the media that we consume, all the entertainment, all the factoids, all the information, basically all the light energy that we're absorbing throughout our day in the form of information or content. When you sit in this meditative emptiness, you are literally filling yourself up with that source energy, which we in the 3D understand as like the void or emptiness, but it's crucial for that balance, it's, it's interesting because it's reminding me now that I say it out loud of like the pH balance between alkalinity and acidity. We too have to find that spiritual balance within ourselves. So if you find yourself sitting for, you know, 10 minute meditation twice a day or maybe a longer form meditation once a day, you're going to notice that you're going to have a lot more creative leaps and, and progress and jumps and, and, you know, leaps and bounds in a creative field, in a thinking field, in a sense of kind of personal centeredness and calmness, being able to deal with, um, you know, moments of unsurety, unease, maybe even crises for some. So this is what's making you so kind of strong and durable here is that you appropriately rest and rejuvenate. Nine of cup in the upright is... Um, you have this air about you, you have this unique aura or silver lining, and it's coming across as kind of just experience. Knight of Cup in the upright, you have something to offer, you're an asset, you have something to give and provide. You could help out tremendously in this uh, kind of work front, this collaborative effort, Three of Pentacles in the upright. As in you offer an opportunity here, straight into the point, King of Cup in the upright could be a mature masculine male, something that you you could report good news to this person. Uh, finally, your luck has turned. Finally, your ships have come in. I'm getting the sense. Yeah, look at the King of Cup here. This person has been hoping and praying, and look, he's coming out twice. I'm using two decks here combined, and I shuffled it up really good. But you're gonna have some great news to report to this individual. You might even talk to them about your new kind of meditation regimen. It's a good way of being able to deal with and adapt to unknown, uncertain times. And it seems as almost as if like the answers come straight to you. This is about a straightforward, direct energy. Almost like you're uploading to that timeline where you know exactly what to do and how to close out this cycle world card in the reverse. Yeah, and this is also going within Five of Pentacles in reverse. As opposed to trying to play the, the Matrix game with the set of tools known only as logic and reason, you will find that that rope runs empty. It, it, it runs out because the game is not meant to be understood or played just by using those tools. You have to dip into your spirituality. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Let's see what comes out for Leo. Reach out for more.